Sappho was a poet of ancient Greece. Born on the island of Lesbos in the Aegean Sea around 600 BC, Sappho's writing was greatly admired throughout the course of her lifetime. Though most of her poetry has been lost to time, her tremendous reputation as one of the first published female writers endures. Sappho's poetry contains elements of aeolic vernacular speech and hints of epic vocabulary found in the writings of Homer. Admired by the likes of Plato and Greek historian Dionysus of Helicarnassus, Sappho's poetry has been revered throughout the millennia for its simplicity of thought, melodic construction, and vivid imagery. Sappho's passion and love for both sexes is evident in her writing. The word lesbian is derived from the name of the island of her birth, Lesbos. Her name, Sappho, is also the origin of the word sapphic, as in sapphic love, meaning female homosexuality. A sapphic stanza refers to a four-line poetic form. Many of the narrators in her poems speak of infatuations and love, but whether these poems are meant to be autobiographical is debated among scholars. Sappho was exiled to Sicily for reasons unknown, but she lived most of her life in Lesbos. Very little of Sappho's writings contained elements of the political turbulence of the time, unlike her contemporary Alcaeus, whose verse frequently reflected political theatre. One of Sappho's poems mentions a daughter, but whether she had a legitimate daughter is uncertain. Sappho's work endured well into Roman times, but her dialect of Aeolic Greek was ancient even by then. Much of her poetry fell out of favour as a result. Some of the greatest thinkers of ancient Rome, however, continued to communicate her legacy. It is because of their description and analysis that we are familiar with her work today.